Welcome to the tutorial on Parallel In Parallel Out Shift Register. In this particular video, we will be demonstrating a 4-bit Parallel In Parallel Out Shift Register. The Parallel In implies that all the 4 bits can be loaded at the same time and Parallel Out implies that all the bits can be read out at the same time. So if you look at the block diagram, you can see that we have two control inputs which are represented as shift enable and load enable. The shift enable is represented as SH and the load enable is represented as L. The 4-bit parallel in parallel out shift register also consists of a clock and the serial data in. Along with that, we also have parallel in, parallel out option wherein D0, D1, D2, D3 are the 4 bits which are given as an input to the shift register and the outputs are Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 which are provided for parallel output. Now let us understand the operation of this 4 bit parallel in parallel out shift register with the help of the shift enable and the load enable inputs. For that we are going to implement the 4 bit parallel in parallel out shift register by making use of a mux and d flip flop. So in this case when the shift is equal to 1 irrespective of the load whether it is 0 or 1 clocking the register will cause the serial input to be shifted into the flip flop while the data in the flip flops Q3, Q2 and Q1 are shifted one position to the right. If the shift is equal to 0 and the load is equal to 1 Clocking the shift register will cause the four data inputs to be loaded into the flip flops parallelly. If both the shift and the load is equal to zero, clocking the register will cause no change of the state. So the same thing or the same operation is being demonstrated in the form of a table for this particular implementation. So if you look at the first flip flop, you can see that, that is this flip flop, you can see that when SH and L is equal to 0, 0, Q3 is being selected at the output by the marks and Q3 plus will be equal to Q3 and no state change will occur. Whereas when SH is equal to 0, and L is equal to 1, the data D3, that is this data, D3 is selected and loaded into the flip-flop. When SH is equal to 1 and L is equal to 0 or 1, SI is loaded into the flip-flop. The second marks will select Q2, D2 or Q3 etc. So we can write the next state equations for the flip flops in this particular form looking at the table that we have already obtained. So you can see that I can write Q3 plus as sh dash l dash q3 plus sh dash l d3 plus sh into si for q2 plus these initial terms will remain the same sh dash l dash and here you have q2 here you have D2 and here you have Q3. For Q1 plus SH dash L dash Q1 
एस एच डैश एल डी वन एस एच इन टू क्यू टू फॉर क्यू नॉट प्लस यू हैव एस एच डैश एल डैश क्यू नॉट एस एच डैश एल डी नॉट एंड एस एच इन टू क्यू वन सो दीज आर द फोर नेक्स्ट स्टेट इक्वेशंस फॉर द फोर फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स दैट वी हैव यूज्ड वन ऑफ द टिपिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस रजिस्टर इज द कन्वर्शन ऑफ पैरल डेटा टू सीरियल डेटा सो इफ यू लुक एट द ब्लॉग डायग्राम एंड रिकॉल वी ऑल्सो हैड एन ऑप्शन ऑफ सीरियल इनपुट एंड सीरियल आउटपुट सो द आउटपुट फ्रॉम द लास्ट फ्लिप फ्लॉप क्यू नॉट दैट इज दिस वन serves as a serial output as well as the parallel output so hence this can be used for parallel to serial conversion